Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. It's completely unscripted, so please bear with me and I hope this will be done on one take. Today I would like to introduce you my latest project. It's Tour Talent Cruiser year 2005 or around this year. It's in 1 to 24 scale. Here is a banana for the scale, a very small banana right banana it's not huge car it's not small I think this scale is just great for for these cars that can run you know in-house and, and outside uh, it's all-wheel drive and it has fully working suspension setup I'm not sure if this is exactly the live suspension but I try to make it as simple as possible for for a quick build I built two versions of the car, let's say. First is more off-road. It has bigger off-road tires and 5mm higher suspension. And there is a default car which has on-road tires and uh, you know, a bit lower suspension. Uh, there is option to add roof window and these uh, not sure how this is called, roof rack or something like that, so you can add it if you want. I try to build the car as resistant as possible, let's say, so most of the stuff are screwed, uh, same with the side mirrors, so it shouldn't break immediately and can withstand a lot. I'm using two uh, DC motors, those look like this, please focus. Look like this. Uh, for drive, uh, there is one for each axle. I choose to put uh, motor for X directly on the axle to prevent any torque uh, movement of the body or tilting or how it's called, because I hate it in this scale. It just looks super, super weird because the whole suspension setup is very, very, very soft due to quite uh, light body. Battery can be found on the bottom, so for easy replacement you can just open this box and add battery. I'm using this this battery. I was driving for like 30 minutes but haven't run it out, so I think it will hold a lot. And there is on and off switch switch button. I tried to add as much details as possible, so there is uh, some interior some details there are quite nice details on the back there is spare tile and yeah I really like the view of the car and I hope you will like it too uh, from electronics I'm using uh, quite cheap ones uh, as I said two motors servo quite small but quite powerful I'd say it's more than enough there is uh, a yeah, receiver as I said, motor, we have ESC, and that's all you need. Of course, you need two motors. Tires are printed from soft TPU to copy the terrain. Uh, it's only one parameter, parameter, sorry, parameter. Uh, so it's very, very soft, and even the shock absorbers are free printed. Only the spring is bought in Aliexpress for like a dollar for 20 pieces, so the whole car is very very cheap. And of course there's options to uh, add uh, lights, but I just don't like the wiring, so I skipped this part for this car, but maybe I will, I will add it in the future. I will now skip um, to drive uh, video. I hope it's gonna go well because... Uh, I'm not sure when, when the weather will be good to go outside. Um, so yeah, enjoy the video.
Okay, uh, we are back. Uh, I hope the video was good because um, it will be done later, but I'm quite sure it was good. So yeah, so this is my latest model. It's now available in my shop. Uh, it's super easy to print, super easy to build, and it's quite fun to build. It's not the easy, easiest one, sorry. It's, um, uh, but it's not also the, the hard to build. You just need to, you know, it's not the model you buy in a shop. It's free printed, so enough, it's not 100% accurate. But I would say that, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just fun to build and then, of course, fun to drive. So thank you for watching. Please consider subscription or comment. It helps me a lot in um, in a YouTube algorithm, I guess. So yeah, thank you and enjoy the build. Bye.